Hi all, welcome to my team of the week for predictions. Yes, she is getting predictions live this week. Not hanging about, been pretty on the ball with us. See how we do, and hopefully we are on not necessarily the money, but um, you know what we mean. So as you can see by the front card um, in the video, Ryman um, made five saves, two penalty saves, and should see him feature in team of the week regardless. Um, oops, wrong direction. Um, Hakimi, one goal, one assist for um, PSG, 3-1 victory over Lens, 86 rate, should look pretty nice and won't be cheap, so be prepared for that one. Um, Mickey van de Veen, Va Ven, how you pronounce it, um, one goal, clean sheet and an 8 on Sky. Um, Madison was like, played the match, at man of the match, but I thought van de Ven... Um, defensive options were a little light, so I thought he seemed the most feasible in that respect. And also, when you look at the pace and boost that defending physical, he he will be uh, quite juicy. Tavernier is my featured team of the week at the moment. 84 is what he will go to with two goals and a clean sheet. The reason why I'm thinking featured team of the week is because it will just make him stand out even more. Um, if they were to go someone else, it's just to make the individual card just a little bit better um, but all that would go against Tav is one was a penalty but because he's a right back and it's two goals and a clean sheet it should help his case Jonas Hoffman one goal one assist uh, by Leverkusen an absolute riot Boniface has a play of the month but even then I would still fancy Hoffman over anyone else in the game um, like his cards are never great but he always ends up with at least multiple specials and this will be no different. Then Kingsley Coleman continuing the Bundesliga trend, two goals for him. Um, kind of ran the show for Bayern and gets that pace into the 90 club which it kind of badly needs and pushing that dribbling up um, nicely. From there McTominay, two goals and he got a 10 on Sky. He literally comes off the bench, gets two goals and ends up with a 10 with Sky. Um, there is a chance he could be featured team of the week, but you're practically needing to boost his pace up by like 15 or something. You're pretty much going to then end up having possibly minor stat increases then on every other stat, but the pace is just significantly boosted just to make him more usable. Um, so be wary of that. He could be the featured team of the week over Tav. Just, it's either or of course Milinkovic Savic two goals for him in the Saudi league um, all he ever, ever needs is more pace like everything else on the card is class um, got the skill moves that will work weak foot 6-4 but as I said he literally needs just pace and um, but should still feature in team of the week with being in the Saudi league there is a chance he could bag up quite a few team of the weeks and promo cards and whatnot. Martinelli is a bit of a clutch push, but at the same time, the card is definitely an option. Like one goal and a nine on Sky, it's the nature of the game with Arsenal beating um, Man City. It's the nine on Sky is what swings it because like nines are hard enough to get with Sky, especially the ten from McDominay. So it's hard to ignore. And when I'm going up to an eight six, the pace, the shooting will be over ninety and eighty respectively and dribbling's nearly at 90 so there is potential in the card to happen Lukaku two goals for him and like first special of the year I suppose for Roma um, or for him for Roma and could be the first in many as the year goes on and see if it goes through there and then Hansen could be the star of the team of the week she got two goals for Barcelona I was really putting off not including her I had her not included, then I had her included. Um, I thought, let's just reduce Team of the Week just slightly. She is like an arm and a leg anyway. And like this card, the feeling I get, she's going to get a few specials and it's going to start now. So, two goals for her to get into Team of the Week. The reserves will start from bottom to highest, I suppose. So, Batman's got a hat trick in the Wednesday night game. He then played at the weekend and got two more, so he's got five goals over two games. Um, so he'll obviously go to 80 rate and just be 
much more usable in that respect. And Delanga, 8 saves, a clean sheet and an 8 on VI. I'm going with Silver Goalie again. I feel Silver Goalies are getting a bit more of a chance this year because they're guaranteed to go up to 80 rates. So it's basically like 2 and 4 upgrades. And to be honest, at 80 rate, he'd actually look a lot more usable. Um, be like, in theory, he should be like 80 plus club for all of his stats with speed nearly at 70. Could actually be a fun little card. Uh, for Darson, getting in for a hat trick and Silkeborg's 5 0 victory on Friday night, he was probably one of the first that would feature um, before Bat. Like, Batman's was first, for Darson was like second. Uh, Ismail Jacobs, one goal, one assist for Monaco. Um, he will get a position change on the inform because he plays left mid. Um, despite obviously this base card being left back, he does have left mid on his base card anyway. But the inform should be given as a left mid, so factor that part in. Uh, Pookie gets a hat trick. Um, there was a possibility I thought other um, MLS players could have snuck in. But Puki is probably the most academic of the lot, and with being gold, tilts his case. Um, going from 75 to an 81. San Pedri, if they do decide to include the Sudamericana cards and lug cards as per usual, then San Pedri should get in for a hat trick, should be pretty academic in that respect. And then Louise Fleury, continuing the female um, Team of the Week trend. She should be the lock over Hansen if they only do one. Uh, Fleury got a hat trick and an assist. She basically played her part in Paris FC's four goals. Um, she could even be the featured team of the week um, when you kind of look at it. But um, at the moment, it's probably one of like if you want it to be realistic, it's like one of Tav um, and. Um, McTominay with an outside shoot, I suppose, on Fleury. If you want it to be really um, overpowered, then you would go Van den Ven going from 78 to 84, just kind of make the card um, not just juiced, but it would be kind of like could be top tier at this stage of the game um, and a nice alternative. Um, in terms of like other possible, you've got like Harrison for one goal, one assist, and a nine on Sky. Sky were going really generous with nines this week, so. Sterling could get in for a goal um, on it. Yuri, one goal on a clean sheet. Will Gast, will Giroud tap in? He got a 7.5 on Gazetta. So there is a possibility it could happen. Um, it's not a given, but it's certainly a shout um, for happening. Like, I think if it was to happen, it's to try and give us a bit of fun. Um, if he'd got an 8, he would have happened. There was an annoying thing this week is quite a few of the players that I wanted to include, like Berget, uh, Junior Fernandez, and like Palacios and so forth. The problem is they're not in the game anymore, so um, so you're kind of like toiling. Um, as I said, Buanga was the other one for the MLS I kind of fancied, but um, we'll see what happens. This because it's 18 nowadays and not 23 it's a lot harder to kind of like work with and just kind of navigate with but we get there in the end but let me know folks who you think features in team of the week four um see if your uh, weekend league grinding was worth the effort so have a good one folks take it easy all thanks for listening and i will catch you all later